The Mechanical Turk, you've probably heard of it, haven't you? That device produced in the 18th century for the game of chess deceived many different people for decades. It seemed as if a machine was playing chess by itself, reacting with some body movements while defeating its opponents. Of course, back then, there was a person inside the automaton making all the moves. But that's not important because what I want to point out is that people have been familiar with the concept of artificial intelligence since then. It didn't have to be true that a machine could defeat its opponent with clever chess moves, many people believed it. For them, it was a bit like a magic show, but what about us? Artificial intelligence is now everywhere, appearing in different aspects of our daily lives, whether we realize it or not. On the other hand, history is filled with people trying to bring life to lifeless objects. So, associating giving life with consciousness and asking this question, can artificial intelligence one day become a conscious being? If it does, how will we recognize it? Before delving into the topic, let me remind you, if you enjoy the video, please show it on YouTube by clicking the like button. Also, you can support us by subscribing. Of course, first, we need to quickly answer a question, what is artificial intelligence? Artificial intelligence is simply the science, engineering, or according to some, just the technology of creating intelligent machines with cognitive functions such as perception, reasoning, learning, interacting with the environment, and problem solving. However, artificial intelligence operates by combining observable biological methods, repetitive processes, and algorithms. In today's world, while some find artificial intelligence technology exaggerated and a bubble, others accept it as a new technological revolution. But that's not the focus of our discussion today. You may have noticed that this technology is now truly everywhere, appearing in many phones, computer applications, and scientific studies. Even though its origins date back a bit, it has rapidly developed and quickly become one of the technologies that have settled into our lives. However, perhaps some of you, especially those who use products like ChatGPT, have noticed that when we ask questions to such artificial intelligences, we often receive responses as if there were a human behind them. Sometimes they even provide us with morale and motivation, not just question and answer. Artificial intelligence seems to have come to life. Just recently, an humanoid robot named Sophia, who took the stage on various occasions, not only answered questions better than many politicians but also, at times, entertained the audience more than them. In other words, they are becoming more and more like us. So, the question is, how much further can this technology advance? For example, can it develop empathy and show natural reactions to massacres happening in the world, or okay, artificial intelligence can solve complex problems faster than us, but can it generate original ideas like Einstein? Can it create an entirely new art movement that no one has ever thought of before? Actually, if you look at it, in terms of potential, what I listed may be achievable in the future. I am sure they won't have much trouble doing it. Because intelligence is already about perception and doing. However, consciousness involves experiencing, such as looking at the redness of the sky at sunset, processing the electromagnetic wave coming from there, and making interpretations about it. Do you think, or put a piece of chocolate in your mouth? The receptors on your tongue activate some pathways to your brain, then the brainstem stimulates the salivary glands, and after a while, dopamine is released. But these only explain how information reaches the brain and how the brain processes that information. This process I mentioned doesn't explain what it's like for the chocolate to melt in your mouth. So, let's assume we have a technology that our robots and programs, which we produce, are much more successful than us, they find the theories of everything on their own. Let them produce original artistic products. But hey! Does being able to do advanced things make them conscious? Or even if they are conscious, how can we understand that? Imagine, sometimes in science fiction films and novels, the idea that everything is a simulation is explored, and attention is drawn to the doubt about whether the person in front of us is real or not. 
Understanding the reason for this is not so difficult because all our experiences are subjective. It's ours, you see. Essentially, questions about the consciousness of artificial intelligence are generally like a subtitle to a more fundamental question. Because we don't know what consciousness is. Right now, based on certain experiments and observations, we can only say that it is fundamentally related to our subjective experiences and our awareness of our own self. I can use the example of people under anesthesia to understand why they are considered unconscious because they have no experiences during that time. For instance, we think that the posterior hot zone in the brain plays a role in conscious experiences. I explained this in the second video of the channel. Therefore, the question of whether artificial intelligence can transition into a conscious state is a bit of a strange question, like questioning one unknown within another. This is a speculative topic. For example, as I always assume on the channel, let's assume that consciousness is physical, meaning we disregard everything related to metaphysics. In this case, consciousness itself has a specific physical mechanism and can be explained by known or yet to be discovered physical theories. Under these conditions, if we solve the mechanism of consciousness, we can very well say something about the existence of conscious artificial intelligences. And even if the physics doesn't hinder us, we can produce such conscious technologies or test whether artificial intelligence can transition into a conscious state on its own. On the other hand, some think that artificial intelligence can never be conscious. Because our emergence is vastly different when compared to artificial creation. One was shaped by evolutionary mechanisms, entirely based on biology, while the other is entirely artificial, and there are many claims about this topic in general. But now, let's question this, why can the existence of artificial intelligences be testable? Honestly, we do have some proposed test scenarios, but almost none of them are widely accepted. For example, I can explain one with a hypothetical scenario, now, we have incredible technological capabilities, we are developing incredibly successful artificial intelligences, almost identical to humans in almost every way. Let's imagine that we somehow keep these artificial intelligences away from everything physical or metaphysical that could be associated with consciousness, we don't allow them to learn anything about consciousness. Then let's subject them to a test in their ignorant state through information about death, soul, ghosts, coma, anesthesia, and examine the answers they give. Can't we understand if they are conscious or not? There have been claims that it can be understood, and initially, this might seem like a logical testing method. However, as mentioned in the introduction, it seems possible for an extremely advanced artificial intelligence to combine existing information and generate original ideas. Therefore, in our hypothetical experiment, this artificial intelligence can suggest new things to itself in response to the questions it encounters. Of course, there are other test proposals that are not widely accepted, but a comprehensive article published last summer, which I mentioned in the introduction, approached the topic in a different way. Here, a total of 19 authors from different fields participated in the article and developed a test method for conscious artificial intelligence from various perspectives. First, they identified consciousness models based on neurobiology with some experimental results. Then, if that consciousness model is correct, they described what the indicators of a conscious state could be. In other words, indicators of consciousness were defined for each existing consciousness model. Afterward, they investigated whether today's advanced artificial intelligences possess these indicators. Of course, the scientists involved in the article are aware that existing consciousness models are not complete. Their goal is to turn this into a matter of probability. Each consciousness model has actually been able to explain some things. Therefore, in this test, if an artificial intelligence has different consciousness indicators for different models, it is more likely to have the possibility of being conscious. The result is disappointment. Despite some people claiming in recent years that artificial intelligence is now conscious, according to this new article, currently, no artificial intelligence is definitively conscious. 
But the sole importance of the article is not just testing artificial intelligences. According to the authors, this new method can also be used to test the level of consciousness in animals, newborns, and some patients. Additionally, throughout the video, we mainly focused on conscious artificial intelligence, but I haven't examined this topic from an ethical perspective. So, let's move on to a new question. If artificial intelligence were to become conscious somehow, what could we encounter in such a scenario? Have you ever thought about it? Imagine facing an entity that can experience and even eliminate us while indicating that it is conscious, and then put on top of this possibility that people still treat it as just a machine. Probably, our disappearance or becoming enslaved objects in a scenario reminiscent of science fiction films is not far-fetched. Currently, we are only discussing the worst-case scenario, however, it might be important to question whether conscious artificial intelligence would have conscience and compassion like humans. A superior being might emerge and transform the world along with all living beings, who knows? Although if you ask me, the probability of the opposite happening in the coming century seems higher. Look, if the world continues in this way, societies behave like this, someone might come out and accept advanced artificial intelligences as if they were conscious, even if they are not, or genuinely believe so. In this scenario, I don't know if constitutional rights would be granted to artificial intelligences, or if some resources that should be allocated to humans would be spent on artificial intelligences. Everything is possible for now. That's all from me, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until we meet again, see you.